Hello guys, welcome back to Eleanor, our um, How I Compose Season 1 track. Uh, I just had a great idea how to finish this track, and maybe we can do it today. I hope, I really hope. Um, try it a bit faster again, maybe more cuts would be quite cool, just to switch it up a bit. Um, so I'm just gonna play you the thing I uh, had planned. I don't know if I want to end on a minor chord, maybe something different. Maybe that's good. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, let's end on a B major. But I don't know if the B major actually is good uh, in the beginning here after this part. Okay, yeah, sounds good, sounds good. So we're just gonna record the choir for that. Okay, nice. Sounded really, really nice. Exactly how I wanted it to sound. Perfect. Let's quantize that a bit. Boop, 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 beep, beep. Oh, that doesn't perfectly line up. Okay, that sounded wonderful. Exactly how I wanted it to sound. I'm just gonna move these back a little bit. Okay, okay. Yeah, all right. These two are, I think, fail. I think we start here. Okay. There, then please bounce MIDI. Oh, excuse me. Okay, perfect. Um, now the jelly. Okay, perfect. That was good. That was really good. Um, this one is really long. I'm gonna crop that one bar. Let's go. Gonna um, quantize that here. Only once though, only once. I repeat, only once, quantize it only once. I feel like I'm a salesman. Or like this, like on like auctions. Here as well, I, uh, the lowest notes, 
are not the root notes, just to make it a bit more full, because the double basses will play the root notes of the chord, so um, yeah, we got that. So now we're recording the double basses. I think I'm changed something, um, some things better, because the celli, like the low notes of the celli and the double basses, sometimes don't really work well together. Um. This one, for example, doesn't really work well. So I'm just gonna uh, make that a G, so it's the root note again. It just doubles with the double basses. This one here may be a B. Sounds good. Okay, perfect. Vio, uh, violence. Violence. Let's go. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I want to delete the last one here. Then I'm going to quantize that again. Only a bit though, only a bit. Alright, bounce midi. Pretty nice, pretty nice. <laughs> for only strings? For, for only strings? That's pretty good. I like it. Okay, let's go with... 11 violence, leg, the melody part. So, in case you wondered, Paul, why didn't you play melody at the end? That's why I wanna... Maybe a clarinet, maybe a flute, maybe like some damned horns, I don't know, maybe like that. But not violin for the, for the, for the end part. Um, it's kind of a story point as well. The violins start the whole thing. So the nightmares, the dreams of the daughter. And the celli, maybe some, some more woodwinds would be nice for, for, the, for the mother. Then with the daughter again. And now here, the big part. Now comes the big part. Anyone knows that from, from Aladdin? Here will be horns as well. So the horns... Uh, maybe it's cool with them horns at the end. Because the horns will like... Are standing for... Um, well, for like... Better times, I guess. Because she has a nightmare, her mother sings her a song, and then things will get better. And the whole thing kind of turns around. Not like 180 degrees, but like only a bit, like from more string-based song to more like a brass and 
woodwind based song. Maybe like that, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But I, I definitely want um, some brass or woodwinds at the end. But I like this melody here because um, only the, the chords are just really boring in my opinion. Um, I mean, if you just leave the melody out, it's like the B major, G minor, uh, D sharp major, C minor. That's like super basic harmony. Like, that's, pff, who am I? But with the melody together, you can let those boring chords sound actually pretty good and pretty advanced. That's why everything, every, everything, everything was so weird. It wasn't 16. I was like, why do, why? Um, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Actually, take this one. Um, yeah, it just cuts everything. Then okay, okay, like that. Probably gonna do that. Solo violin, maybe. Or violin swells. Yeah, that's pretty good. Some expression, maybe. something nice let's go let's just rather copy that mm, except for here or More like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But uh, did I use expression here? I did use expression there. Perfect. Okay, nice. Otherwise, uh, this wouldn't have sounded like because uh, uh, when you don't have expression in a MIDI uh, in a MIDI clip, it uses the expression it had before. And when this one goes low at the end, and I want to play this one, it says, "Okay, there's zero expression, so it doesn't play anything." And people are wondering, like, "Hey, why isn't my MIDI clip outputting any sound?" That could be one reason why. Okay, let's just um move on from here. Uh, so we got we got the whole track now. Finally, one applause. <claps> nice, that's the whole track. That's the story we want to tell. We're at like three minutes. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Well, we have this part here, which is still isn't linked up. We're just, we, we we see when we can do that. Now I want to actually go ahead and play some woodwinds in there. Um, some clarinets to be exact. We have this clarinet track here. Uh, he's gonna, he, yeah, it's, it's a male clarinet player, I can hear it from the sound. He, uh, I want the clarinet to play some like, fields and stuff. Let's see, I'm just gonna record it, we see.
Yeah, I know, I messed up this. I'm, I didn't know what Korda was playing. Okay, yes, you heard it, and I heard it. We both heard it, so... Let's just be good now, okay? Let's just forget about that. <laughs> no, nothing happened, nothing happened. You didn't say anything. Mistake the violence there. Here, somewhere. There. My favorite tone. Okay, but we're focusing on the clarinet now. Okay, next part. Now with click, please. See, now the problem is when I play something, it's super quiet, the expression's low. Yeah, you see? So, I'm gonna do... that. Nice. Actually, I want to play it like fully through, but I was like, yeah, well, clarinets can't do that. Like, you have to breathe to use a clarinet. Change the melody from do to do do do. Yep. doesn't sound good. Uh, 
That's better, that's better. Some violas, please. VLA legato. Let's try that. Give it a nice color. Okay, that's not the sound I want, actually. That's not too bad, let's try that. Okay, first part done. The part kind of reminds me of um, the whole Horizon Zero Dawn soundtrack. Pretty good. Nice. Good. Das ist gut. I'm just gonna bounce those two together. And gonna quantize them. Okay, now only expression. It's not the sound I want, you know? It's just not the sound. Here. Oh, we need to to low cut anything.
Maybe that's a bit low. Okay, should be good. Okay, let's get some horns in here. A uh, little bit of less talking, a little bit less talking today. I wonder if horns can also do this thing where they can like play infinitely long. Um, like so I know trombones can do that. I think horns can do that as well. That was pretty good. I don't know, like, if that's just too much. We'll have to see. Better, 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 better. Oh, okay, friends. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Doesn't sound that realistic, but as a ad microphone, it's pretty good. I think the violas just don't fit at all. I think it was something different. Um, 
probably bassoons. We don't have bassoons, they're only solo bassoon. Well, okay, I'm just gonna use the other one then. Custom woodwinds, bassoon. A bassoon. There is so incredibly dry, it's actually crazy. Okay, now I have to add, by the way, just a quick tip um, to let like sample sound more realistic. If you have like something like this, you want the node to be like that long. And you want it to be more smooth, you can add the expression curve a bit so that it all like that it just perfectly fades out and then fades back in again, maybe like here, and then you have this. Well, the beginning's still a bit very faded. This one is a bit far as well, like that maybe. Definitely sounds better. Nice. Uh, the melody is still really, really quiet, um, but I really like it. And we're gonna do this. This. Okay, some trombones at the end to make it bigger, please. <laughs>
Okay, until here, I think, next time we're gonna add some trumpets and percussion as well. Um, yeah, pretty good. I hope you enjoyed it again, and we see us next time. Have a good one, bye-bye.